Hello everyone, I'm Danielle. I'm Krista. And tonight we're going to have dinner with some friends at Sunset Cafe in Delhi. It's an Ethiopian uh, cuisine location here in Rainier Valley um, at like Othello in Rainier. A little past that. Yeah. We've never been here before, but recommended by a friend, so we're excited to check it out. Yep. I love the food, I love the communal eating, I love all the nom nom noms. Yeah. We're gonna go in, we're gonna order some food and some drinks. Well, we're super hungry, so we already started digging in, but this is the sunset. It still looks pretty. Plate. Oh, yeah. So in the middle here, that's like an egg and a chicken. Drumstick. Drumstick. Got salad, lentils, that's meat. Chicken. Chicken, pork. I think it's beef. Beef, beets, um, don't know. More lentils. More lentils, different style. Uh, spinach, some kind of vegetable. Greens, yeah. Cheese, and uh, beef, and salad. And all this is on injera, which is very delicious. And um, Krista and I are probably gonna lady and tramp that egg because that would be just cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the veggie combo has arrived. We got some corn, some more like collards. Um, those are yellow split peas. Where? Oh, this is yeah. yellow split peas? Awesome, what's this? Okra. Okra. Um, Potatoes? That's lentils. That's a different lentils. kind of lentils. Lentils? This Salad. is a different kind of lentils that just turned into mush. More I don't lentils. know what this is. Mm. And something that looks suspiciously spicy. <laughs> Green beans and peppers. <laughs> Green beans with peppers. Oh, and another bowl of injera, which is good. We were starting to <laughs> run low. So, mm. all right, we'll check in after we yeah. eat some. And still to come, a lady in the tramping of an egg. All right, Chris is going to show us how to do this. So she took a piece of the injera. What's your favorite thus far? I don't even know. It all tastes really good. I like those lentils. Um, and then I really like the chicken and this beef. Um, yeah. What about you guys? Y'all have a favorite? This thing. This thing? This thing. Spicy. I don't know what it is. Potato and something delicious. Potato and something. Yeah, it's like a little bit of heat with that potato in there. I agree. Oh, it's kind of a sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give sweet. it to the okra. Taste. Oh, really? Wow. It's really good. So um, but also with this one right here, is this lamb? I think. Yeah, that, I think that's lamb. Yeah. It's really good. I think that's the lamb shank in there. Oh, and that's cheese as well. Oh yeah, the cheese. Yeah. Especially with other things like lamb. Mmm. Right. Right. So we're gonna do this egg thing now. Cause. Grabbing the egg. Show, show it. Okay. Okay, Krista. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Don't drop it. <laughs> Pretty good job. A for effort for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Egg all, over <laughs> Thank you. all right, I'm about to go after this chicken leg, chicken drumstick. Um, mm. Kyle got a piece of it off with injera and said it was damn good. Yes. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this the way you do this. That is so. I have not seen that since when I first moved to Seattle. Well, that is surprisingly good. Why are you surprised? Like it's, I don't know, just the way it looked, I guess. I don't know. Mm. Um, what kind of flavor is it? It's like tastes like that. Mm. Yeah. Except with more the sauce protein. that's on it. Yeah. It's kind of a tomatoey, peppery, very flavorful, aromatic kind of sauce. That. <laughs> um, very happy by this. I'm gonna make a mess of myself. All right, we had our dinner. Yes, we did. So this is, was a new Ethiopian place for us. I think there's I think this is the fourth place that we've tried in Seattle, and this was really good. For, like, to me, this ranks right up there with the best really? Ethiopian food that I have. For I've me, had. do you disagree? Yeah, it was good, 
But it wasn't as good as uh, like the other places that the we've been one. to. Yeah, the first place, that place I love. I think the meat, um, um, the meat is what was maybe even a little bit, could have been better. Yeah, the meat could have been better. The service definitely wow. could have been better. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, so we're two white people yeah. going into an Ethiopian food restaurant, which is like, you know, okay, whatever. But even like language differences aside, I feel like there wasn't much, I feel like there was a lot of phoning it in tonight. And the, evidently the lady who used to do the cook, cooking here, Sunny, has retired. So our friends who brought us here, um, they said that, that everything's changed quite a bit. They were commenting on it being remodeled. Yeah. And I think that there was probably some changes in the food as well. Uh, but still overall, I love it. It was really good. I would recommend it. Um, so out of 10 and Jira, what would you give it? Um, probably six and a half. Six and a half? I would also give it a six and a half. I guess we're on the same page. Yep, on the same page. Now, now that being said, we need to go to some of the other places that we really like because yeah. those I would rate at like a nine or a ten. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so we'll have to have to vlog one of those places, but that's fine with me. We don't eat Ethiopian food often enough. It's so good. <laughs> it is really good. It is. There's something about eating with your hands. Yeah, and with friends, like sharing. It's like we got two. We got two combo platters, a veggie combo platter and a beef or a meat combo platter, beef chicken. Yeah. Well, you saw. And that was just right for four people. Right. I mean, I maybe ate a little bit more than I needed to because it's so good and I was really hungry. But um, yeah. it's, a, it's a good portion for four people. Yeah, it comes out to about $12 a person, $11 a person actually, which is great. Yeah. It's a full you meal. No, really one, full. no one walked away hungry. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Nice. So, so if you've enjoyed watching us eat food in front of you and enjoying a yet another weird, interesting place in Seattle, um, please feel free to follow us on YouTube, subscribe, hit that alert button, uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, Seattle Light of Love, and uh, Instagram, Seattle Light of Love, and um, on Twitter it's at Sea Light Love because, you know, character limits. Uh, all that being said, it's been the, the Seattle I love. Signing out. Good night. Thank you for enjoying this video. Please feel free to join us on one of our many other adventures.